Friday's workshop. In the mornings? Yeah. Oh. Who helped you? Miss Stutter. Oh, Miss Stutter does it all, doesn't she? Woo! Woo! <laughs> Me and Casey went trick or treating. It was a hot day. I was a robot and Casey did not dress up. He had a microphone and sung a trick or treat song. Casey smiled real big at me and I smiled big at him. <laughs> Everybody gets to see Casey. I heard on the radio on 107 that he was coming. I was on my way home and I just could not believe it. So uh, the next day I called the brew house and uh, told the girl that answered all about Marcus. She said, well, I can't promise anything, but we'll sure get together with them and uh, see what we can do. Well, then another teacher at my school actually knew somebody here that, that owns it, I believe. And the few teachers got to talking, and before we knew it, I got a call from Jay Shell. He said, it's going to happen, Miss Stutter, this Friday at 4.15, have Marcus there. Uh, of course, he can't see to write, but he dictates to me, and I write the stories down while the other kids in the room are doing their their story for the day. We do that every morning. And uh, he's decided to have a new story about Casey every morning. I try to get him to write about something else, but he will not. He loves Casey and he has all kind of adventures with him. They always have their guitars with them and their microphones with them. Good luck. I will sing it just for you tonight. I gotta go, buddy, but can I get a hug? He knows every word to every song of his. And it's, uh, he watched American Idol. And he just fell in love with him. Some, something about this man just touched his heart. And just filled his little heart up with joy. Because every day he talks about where me and Casey are going. What Casey said to me, and especially he asked me, if I take Casey here, will he smile at me? He, he likes to listen to people and ask me, are they smiling while they're talking? So he hears Casey smiling <laughs> through his songs. Is that wonderful? Yeah.